18 years. 18 years is a long time to tough it out in the Indian SUV market. And the Hyundai Tucson, it has done just that. Now this Tucson, it has been on sale globally for quite a while and finally the design refresh has come to India. The big talking points obviously are the styling. You get a new parametric jewel grille with LED DRLs embedded within it. You get new design for the alloy wheels. You get sharper lines and a very cool looking rear wiper which we will get to in a bit. But crucially, this Tucson is also packed with a lot more features and crucially it also gets A-2 level capabilities which we will check out on the track. The Tucson it is offered with a choice of two engines, a 2 litre petrol and a 2 litre diesel. Both are mated to an automatic transmission while the diesel makes more power 183 bhp, the petrol makes 150 bhp. Now inside the 2022 Tucson, you get this nice chunky steering wheel to hold. You get a digital instrument cluster replacing the earlier analog clocks. A nice 10.25 inch infotainment screen with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all the creature comforts that you need. You get automatic climate control and automatic gearbox drive modes and on the all-wheel drive variant you also get terrain modes which should improve the Tucson's capability of the tarmac. Nice panoramic sunroof, I haven't opened it here but you get the panoramic sunroof. Soft touch plastics and soft touch panels are present all around the cabin and I think this addresses the Tucson's main failing with its predecessor. It looked too cheap and now it feels properly plush and properly expensive. Now most SUV buyers will want to know how the rear seat comfort of the Tucson is and I think it is pretty good. You get a very supportive rear seat. You also get a recline function for the first time. You get a central armrest. Obviously you have a massive panoramic sunroof to liven things up. You get USB A ports which I think is a bit of a miss because USB C's would have been better with these trying times. You get rear AC vents. The front seat, it can be adjusted to go ahead and back from the rear seat. Kind of like a boss mode function, which I think is really cool. And the space on offer, frankly, it feels excellent. Hyundai claimed that the Tucson is longer, wider and taller than before. And that is certainly reflected in the rear seat space. You have enough and more room to lounge about. And I think the rear seat passengers of the Tucson will be a very happy bunch. Now we have talked plenty about the styling changes on the Hyundai Tucson at the front but at the rear the changes are still continuing. You get these LED tail lamps, very funky design and the coolest thing on offer on the Hyundai Tucson is this. A rear wiper which has been concealed very neatly into the rear spoiler to give the rear end a very cool look. What do you think about the styling of the Hyundai Tucson? Let us know in the comments below. Having talked about the styling of the Tucson, we are now at the iCAT proving grounds to check out the Hyundai Tucson's ADAS capabilities. The Hyundai Tucson comes with a total of 19 ADAS features and the first of those is the smart cruise control. What it essentially does is maintain a predetermined gap from the vehicle travelling in front of you and it also maintains the Tucson speed depending on traffic conditions. Hyundai claims that this system can work in stop and go conditions as well and the Tucson can come to a complete halt if it senses traffic ahead while also coming back to the predetermined speed once the traffic eases up. You also get a blind spot view camera which is a very useful thing to have in our Indian conditions with unruly drivers all around. The Hyundai Tucson is also equipped with a lane follow assist and a lane keep assist function, both of which can be engaged by pressing a button on the steering wheel. The lane follow assist keeps the Tucson in the center of the lane and this function works from a standstill. On the other hand, the lane keep assist works from 60 kmph onwards and it uses a front camera to detect if the Tucson is drifting out of its lane. Should you drift out of your lane, the Tucson provides you with audio visual warnings to get back into your lane 
and it also corrects the steering wheel for you should you ignore those warnings. On the well-marked lanes of the iCAD proving ground, the system worked flawlessly, but it remains to be seen how well this ADAS system works in the real world. Another cool feature that the Hyundai Tucson gets is the rear collision avoidance system that helps you reverse out of your parking safely, a must-have feature in our Indian conditions. The Tucson's ADAS system also gets a collision avoidance function which can look out for other cyclists, pedestrians and even cars, bringing the Tucson to a halt if it senses an impending collision. If you are driving below 60 km an hour, the system can engage the full braking force, bringing a Tucson to a quick stop, while if you are travelling above 60 km an hour, the system only brakes partially to avoid the vehicle losing control. So what do we think of the ADAS system on the new Hyundai Tucson? Now, all the functions of the system worked exactly as they should have on the iCAT testing ground, but it is hard to reach a definitive verdict before we try this out in the real world. What the ADAS system does provide the Tucson is a technological edge over its rivals. And with this added set of features, it makes the new Tucson a very compelling package.